there my friends welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to the recipe therapist today I'm gonna to show you what you can do with all those leftover pumpkins you're gonna have this holiday season I'm gonna take you step by step through the process of how to cut and cook your very own fresh pumpkin it's not as hard as you think and let me tell you it's gonna make all your pumpkin recipes this holiday season over the top so come on let me show you how it's done Okay, so what I have here is my sweet pumpkin. It's my pumpkin of choice. It's sweeter and less stringy than those large pumpkins that we use for carving. I've washed it and I've patted it dry. I'm gonna demonstrate how we cut this pumpkin. I've taken my serrated knife and I've cut across horizontally. What I've done is I've taken my spoon here and I've scraped out into this bowl all of the pulp and the seeds that you can see on the other side of this pumpkin. Okay, so now we're ready to put our pumpkin in the oven for baking. What I've done is I've taken a nonstick pan and I've sprayed it with some cooking spray. I've taken my pumpkin and I've placed it on the pan skin side up. It's gonna go in the oven at 375 degrees for about 40, 45 minutes. Okay, so now that our pumpkin is in the oven baking, I'm gonna show you what you can do with those delicious pumpkin seeds that are left over in the pulp. What I have here is the remaining pulp and I'm just gonna show you how we pull these seeds, they come right out very easily out of the pulp. And what we're gonna to have to do with these seeds is we're going to have to soak them for about five minutes in some hot water just to take that extra flesh off. Okay, so I've taken my pumpkin seeds and I've just strained them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them on this nonstick cookie sheet. And you can see they've been cleaned and there's hardly any pulp left on them. I'm gonna take some olive oil and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top, just across the top. And then I'm gonna take some salt, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt over all the top. Now typically, people just use salt and oil, but I like garlic, so I'm gonna put some garlic powder on them, just like that. And then we're gonna cook them in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees, and they're gonna be so delicious. Okay, so here it is, here's the pumpkin. It's all cooked, it's made its own juice here and you can see that it's shrunken somewhat in size. It looks perfect. So what I'm gonna do is demonstrate how we take the pumpkin out of the shell. So I'm just going to take my spoon, as you can see, and it comes out of the shell really, really easy, and it's that yellow color, it's perfect. It is a little stringy, but don't worry about that. We're gonna take care of that when we put it in a high-powered blender, and it's gonna give us that velvety, smooth texture. It's gonna be perfect. Okay guys, so here's our roasted pumpkin ready to be pureed for that velvety texture. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour it right into my high power blender, just like that. And I'm gonna puree it for about 40 seconds to a minute. Okay friends, here it is, the pumpkin puree. It's velvety, creamy, and ready for your next pumpkin recipe. It can be frozen for up to six months and refrigerated for up to two weeks. And as an added bonus, we have our roasted pumpkin seeds. They're healthy, crispy, and delicious. For the full recipe, scroll down to the description, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button with that little bell for notifications. We'll see you next time.